Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video and show you guys a custom that I ended up making out of my Wolf Gray 3s. And uh, basically I did a couple things to uh, change up this sneaker right here. And I think it looks pretty good. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think of the custom. But it's really kind of uh, a simple look, but um, added pop from the kind of silver, um, like uh, elephant print, which is part of the Wolf Gray 3s. So a couple of the things that I ended up doing I'll show you guys and uh, also what you guys will need to make this happen. Also, just uh, throwing this out there as well, if you guys didn't see my last custom, I did have an updated video to this custom right here, the Shattered Backboard Laser 1s, and so you could see that they look a lot better uh, comparison to the first video that I did where the, the materials were just a little bit too dark um, and uh, just too orangish, and this one I did a little bit more color matching on. And then also... Um, yeah, I uh, filled out the piping, the black piping, because that was something um, that I needed to do. So if you guys are interested in that video, check that out in the uh, description as well. But uh, but this custom, so I did a couple things from the Wolf Grays, and I did both of the shoes actually already. Um, but the first thing I did, obviously, is the entire upper right here is uh, black now. This part and this part was wo like Wolf Gray. And then also the midsole right here, this was the only part that was black previously, and now the entire midsole and this part right here is black which was gray I think or white I'm sorry it was white before so now it's I blacked out uh, midsole and then also the liner so this liner was actually um, I could probably do another coat to make it look a little bit uh, better but the tongue was black previously but the side liner and the back liner back here was actually white uh, so I ended up uh, dying that so it was black so so we did black on here and then we did uh, black here and then black on the upper and then I added these little silver um, like end, end pieces or whatever for uh, the laces, the lace tip things. So you can see the wolf gray uh, soles right there. Um, but that's pretty much it. So just a quick rundown of some of the items. I'll show you guys uh, me using the items through the video. But the first thing, le leather prepare and deglazer. And I'll put a link in the description to these products uh, from Angelus, which is a great uh, place to actually buy a lot of these things. So this basically you prep the shoe with. After you're done prepping it, you use the easy cleaner to clean off any of the excess gunk. Then you use the flat black to paint the leather upper. Then you use the regular black to paint the midsole. Then I use the jet black leather dye to paint the inside collar, like right here. So three different types of black. Also, you need a mixing jar uh, and one for um, nail polish remover and then, of course, a brush. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into showing you guys how this thing was done. So basically right now I'm just going to go ahead and take the leather preparer and deglazer and rub down the entire shoe. Uh, round circles, side to side, whatever it is, but just scrub a little bit hard. There's basically like a little thin film on the uh, the upper and you want to kind of peel it off a little bit if you can. Uh, basically you just want to go ahead and rub it down real good. You also want to get the midsole and I'll do that later I believe uh, in the video. And then finish it off, use the easy cleaner and uh, and then that helps. Uh, clean it up and gets all the extra residue off now. Yes, the shoe is orange right now But I ended up switching it up from the orange to black because um, Black is a new orange. I guess no I, I really was going with the orange and it just didn't work uh, with the silver So I'm showing you guys just painting the lining right now And it's a 50 50 mix of water and black or jet black leather dye uh, I showed you guys that in my uh, laser custom as well But basically you just got to daub it in real gentle you don't want to put too much in because it will bleed through the shoe uh, so you definitely want to be easy with that. Now I'm using the uh, the um, same stuff that I used before and rubbing down the midsole and uh, just basically trying to rip down some of the midsole. Now I tried to paint a little bit of it right there at first without using it and I decided to do reverse what I was doing because it just wasn't adhering right. So I knew that I should use the leather preparer and deglazer in order to prep it for the midsole. So I'm deciding to paint the midsole black. I decided to do this because I like the look of the blackout midsole versus the white. I thought it looks cleaner uh, when I'm going to be doing the black. Uh, kind of custom over top of it so it just adds a little bit extra pop and you just got to be kind of careful around the air bubble uh, careful around the uh, the bottom part the translucent sole uh, or, or I guess silver kind of translucency sort of I don't know weird um, liquidy sort of sole um, but uh, but basically that is that so basically I just wanted to show you guys this is the look that I had with the orange and the black midsole and also collar but I did not like it. Something was off, and so I wanted to change something about this. I was going to change the elephant print, possibly black that out, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and paint the entire thing black instead of the orange. And, uh, and it took four layers of orange, dude, so it took a lot of effort to do that. 
But uh, but I was like, you know what, this is a much better look. And as soon as I started putting this on, I knew this was the right way to go. I'm using the flat black um, paint, and this is definitely the w way I like. Uh, it will be less glossy this way with the flat black. But you just got to kind of take it easy and go around the edges. And you can see I left the eyelet areas kind of empty at first, and then I went back and filled them in. And then you just got to make sure that you do like a second layer. Also on the bottom side of the tongue, uh, or not the tongue, the uh, the pull tab on the back, you got to flip that down because there's a little part that is also gray on that area. And so I wanted to make sure that it was consistent. And uh, But basically, yeah, two layers of black uh, paint was enough to make this thing look good. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job on it. It actually looks pretty decent, um, at least in my opinion. But here's the finished product look so you guys get a, an idea of what I did. And then I threw in the laces after this, and I'll show you an on-feet section in a second. Uh, much better than the wolf grays in my opinion. I love gray, but gray with the wolf gray and the silver thing just looked off to me. Thinking about using um, the black to black out that jump man on the tongue and on the back. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Should I black out the tongue on the jump man? Or the jump man on the tongue? <laughs> I'm tired, dudes. The jump man on the tongue and on the back or not? Um, just curious what you guys will think. Also, you'll notice that I added some uh, silver lace tips on these, which is not something I would necessarily recommend because... These ones are too fat for the eye holes, so I can't actually undo the laces if I need to. Uh, so just a note on that. But I think they came out pretty clean. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate the feedback. And shout out to Angelus Paints uh, for helping me out with the supplies. And shout out to Sneakerhead in the Bay uh, for helping me out uh, with the custom. Just giving me some insights here and there. Let me learn. Let, let me learn as slowly as it takes because, uh, unfortunately, I'm not a very fast learner. But uh, he's a good teacher guy that's helping me out. So appreciate him. Um, and you can see on this one I didn't do the, the silver uh, on this uh, lace tip on the this shoe but on the other one I did just to, to mix it up and see but turned out pretty good even up close it turns out uh, it, I didn't do too horrible of a job just a couple of spots on um, the midsole that I would have liked to touch up but I can always do that later um, there's kind of a side look at it and uh, the front so yeah man pretty happy with the way it came out what I, it's basically what I wanted to do since I got the wolf grays and I was going to pay somebody to do it but glad I was able to do it myself instead thanks for watching catch you guys for some more vids later peace